Welcome to episode 6 of my football let's play, football manager let's play. Uh, first match we was up against um, HSV Hamburg. Um, they took an early lead through um, Paulo Guerrero, I think. Yeah. This game was massively frustrating for me because it's just not... Well, we were playing the really inexperienced centre-back who got sent off just before half-time, which made it hard. Guerrero scored from some poor marking. Very bad. Not happy with that. I thought we could have made like some improvement in the second half. But we did attack. We, we attacked quite a lot, but we just didn't get the ball up there. Zidane played his first game for us. Didn't do too bad. Barrios to, to cringe. Put a long ball in. Pizzacek nearly scored. But quick counter-attack in from Hamburg. From Son Heung Min. Played a good ball to Kaká. We ran down the right wing, crossed into the middle for Jansen. No, no one picked him up. The game ended 2 0 to Hamburg. Next up, we had Bayer Leverkusen away. Uh, Barrios played quite well in this game, back into scoring form. Well, not scoring form, but he's back into form at least. Playing Mario Gotti, the young 18 year old on the attacking right. Played the ball through Traore, who made it 1 0. Good finish from the young man, Lucina. Um, the scene of Traore is really, <laughs> in the next couple of matches you'll see why I've bought him. He's just turned into an absolute animal. Leverkusen didn't go down with, without a fight though, because they pulled one straight back from uh, Balak. Vida put it back to Balak, who had a shot. No, Ralfes, now he had a shot. No, Keithlin, <laughs> shoot, yeah, okay. Bottom left corner from Balak, a lot of power, unstoppable really, N nothing to complain about. Um, 89th minute, we won the game late on through the scene of Traore. Uh, Kvist Kel played a really good ball for Traore, who finished under pressure into the top left. So everyone thought it was offside, so did I, so we're going to take it. A 2 1 win away at Leverkusen is a good result. We had FC Schalke next. Before I show the next game against FC Schalke, I just want to show you where I am in the league at the moment. Uh, one point off top space with Stuttgart occupying it, but Bayern have a game in hand over us. If they win, they would go top. We're round about where I'd like to be at the moment. Um, a lot of goals coming our way, which is good. Only beaten by uh, Bayern at the moment. Yeah, it's going quite well. Nothing's going terrible, I suppose. I have, I mean, I've got some targets lined up who I'd like to sign, but I just I haven't got a clue at the moment. We're we're exceeding expectations because we're seventh. Um, the Euro Cup, we got let Poznan after. Um, we, I think, if we beat Poznan, we qualify for the first round, which is good. So yeah, in the comments, can you leave me some um, players that I could possibly go and buy? Because I need, I think, I need another striker and a centre back really to toughen up this squad. It's a good squad, but it's a bit lacking for the moment. So yeah, uh, we had FC Schalke next. Uh, Schalke was the next opposition, and we got off to a flying start in the first minute. Uh, Hummels, uh, Gotz has been really impressive. Traore just smashed one into the top left corner in the first minute. It's a really good start from D uh, Dortmund. We played well pretty much the whole game. Schalke nearly mm. scored from Reginution though. Uh, but Weinfeller had it covered. Uh, Wama Yale has been consistent all season really. Nothing to say. Good attacking football from Shinji Kagawa who finished well into the bottom left and beat Manuel Neuer. 2 0 at the moment, 17th minute in. It's going really well. Managed to grab a third from uh, Manuel Neuer's bad kick. Headed down by Subatic. Kagawa played a good ball from Lucas Barrios to catch, and he finished greatly into the bottom right. Schalke did pull one back. Oh no, did we score fourth? I'm not sure. A one more Yela, Kagawa. One more Yela. Oh yeah, Gotzi's got his um, first senior goal for Dortmund. So it was 4-0 at half time. But things took a little bit of a twist as um Huntelaar played well with Dorado and sent through Raul, who chipped superbly over a uh, Weinfella. But a minute later, Hummels, Wamiela, Marigotzi played good ball for Traore, played through Barrios, who held up the ball well. Kagawa crossed low into the post. Traore finished to make it 5-1. But a minute later, uh, Schalke went forward with Machida and Kluj. Uh, Machida played through the ball down to the right wing. 
they're just knocking it about. Raul played a good ball through Huntala, who finished through White and Fella. It ended 5 2 for Dortmund. I'm particularly pleased with this result. Our next game was FC Nuremberg away, and it started off with a penalty for Nuri Sahin, who stayed cool and converted it to beat whoever is in goal. Och. Nuremberg came straight back though, because every time we score a goal, it seems to be that the opposition scores straight away. Schreiber played well down the right mid. Falkenberg put a good ball for Sayenko to score a header. That was pretty much it until late on into the second half, about the 74th minute, where um, Nuremberg looked to be settling in the game until we made a good break. Almost cleared for Barrios. Lucina Traore. Played the book Kvist, who played an amazing ball for Barrios, who finished in the bottom left. Barrios is back in goal scoring form, which is great. Uh, that was pretty much it until the 90th minute, where we grabbed another goal. Where um, Nuremberg did go forward pretty much every time they had the ball, and they just made errors like that for Kvist, who's a good playmaker. Traore, who's got the strength. Cross low for pitch check to score a good header, a good counter attacking goal. That's how it ended. Join me in episode um, 7 for uh, FC Style Bucharest.